Right, so will it be an explosive day in Parliament? Meanwhile, this week I've heard of at least a dozen cases of people, particularly children, coming down with swine flu. It seems this is the second wave that had been predicted for winter. While government hospitals, as always, are under tremendous pressure, why is there a feeling that the private sector should be pitching in so much more? Mohwa Chaudhary investigates. 12-year-old Pramod has been sick for six days. When the fever didn't go down, his father took him to a government hospital for testing. Even if he does report positive for H1N1, it is too late to put him on Tamiflu. The initial teaching that uh, we should treat early, and uh, then late, that I think that holds true because you know most of the time when the complications set in the system, then the drug becomes useless. Despite the spurt in H1N1 swine flu cases in what is being described as the second wave, families are not reporting cases on time. Being the flu season, parents are confused about what to do, like Yash Gupta's mother. They have a fever, a fever, temperature 102. So this is the weather change, so it will be normal for the child. It will also be a fever, so now I have to check the doctor that the fever is not less, the fever is not less, the fever is not less. They have to test the H1N1 test. The problem where most of the deaths are taking are typically those cases who are going late and going to the private sector, which still hasn't got its act together on, treat, on treating H1N1. Since the infection is mild, the impact so far hasn't been severe. Most have cleared the illness on their own. But since the virus is unpredictable, it is crucial that people remain careful and get checked up early on to prevent the disease from going out of control. In New Delhi, Mohua Chaudhary for NDTV.